So this is a great time to take a break and go ahead and showcase. This is um this is stinging nettle nettle stinging nettle and uh it's super good for you. You can eat this plant. You can eat the leaves. Um, you can probably eat the whole shoot when it's very young. But right now at this stage, mid-May, coming up on June here soon, this plant is phenomenal and it's very abundant, very abundant here in the southern Appalachians. So stinging nettle has some stinging hairs. That's where it gets its name. And it's just small trichomes on the bottom of the leaves and up and down the stem and they sting but for me I'm pretty used to them and this is actually a great snack on the go you can bundle up the leaf just like that shoot it behind the tooth way back in there crunch it up real good it actually has a phenomenal flavor raw no bitterness at all it's a really a great plant um, I think it's upwards of 30-40% protein, which is extremely high um, for a plant to have that much protein. So that's just fantastic news. And also, what's really good about it is um, it's, the stem makes fantastic cordage. So you can take the stem, stalk right here, clean it up, mash it, possibly let it dry, and that would help uh, to create extra tension um, really make it stronger. Okay, so this is, um, we got a nice close up here in Nettle. Very nice, very nice plant. This is absolutely fantastic. Actually getting stung by one right now but rolled up just like that on the outside end you won't get stung at all that way right back there on the molars phenomenal this is really nice this is just a lot of food and we're coming up here on ramp valley uh, green valley very lush it's southbound here by about five minutes. Um, it is a north-facing slope. So a north-facing slope is actually um, really nice. Um, there, the sun doesn't hit it so much, so uh, moisture remains in that area longer, uh, thus creating um, more life for the plants to um, take all that water in. You'll see a lot of streams on north facing slopes too, at least I do. And we're coming up on Green Valley here um, where it's loaded with nettles. We're passing a ton of plants, but we got to keep moving. We got to see what's up here. Um, we definitely have turkey moving about here this evening. It's just after 6 p.m. Shade's coming in and it's getting really cool. Sun's lowering in the day. This is when animals really like to move around. So um, we're going to go ahead and press on. We can boil up some of these later. Very high in protein. Wonderful plant. Lots of vitamins, nutrients. Oh, it's just fantastic. Let's go. Okay, we're up here, we're in the Green Valley.
It's a little too hard to hear right now, but... Okay, I think we have something up right up here on top. We got to remain quiet. Sounds like something kind of heavy. It's not too frequent either, which makes sense. up a little bit higher now and this rock cairn is actually the symbol of the green valley and it's been here for a few hundred years actually uh, pretty significant and um, we're gonna see I'm kidding I made this rock cairn We're going to see what we've got up here. Now, I heard something thumping around earlier. We just need to remain quiet. This is a huge, significant part for Ruko. He's up there sitting. That's good. He needs to sit more. Don't smell too much. No animal musk smell. Usually you can really smell it here with the dense vegetation and the high humidity. Smells really uh, are uh, persistent in this area. Okay, we're going to keep climbing up and see what we got up here. There's definitely something up there. We need to remain quiet. Let's go ahead and make some moves. I will also have to slow my pace down.
while we're coming up here. I'm gonna go ahead and showcase these plants right here. Okay. So, I'm gonna remain a little quiet, but not too quiet. I still have a ways to go. Right here is a plant that's been used for a long time by the Native Americans, the Cherokee tribe. Basically all these plants. Um, right here, this is black cohosh. Black cohosh is an extremely beneficial women's plant. Um, in fact, all the cohoshes, there are more than just one. This is black cohosh. And right around this area, I'm sure within seconds, I can find blue cohosh, which is another beneficial women's plant. And um, the reason I say that is because black and blue cohosh have been used uh, for women for properties of sedative properties and to relax women while um, giving birth and... Um, I think to help with menstruational periods as well. That's why blue and black cohosh are very good women's plants and they're not to be forgotten. Um, there is another plant here called white cohosh and it's not as prevalent but um, it is here. It also goes by the name doll's eye which is a, um, a very medicinal plant I think as well. Having, um, dive deep too much into that but right here I'll go ahead and showcase these so we can get a good close-up here and these are black cohosh plants um, so a very good um, distinctive fact about the black cohosh are the shoulders that it has and it always branches into threes um, and around the shoulders it will then remain purpley and not too much splotchiness. It'll, it will be smooth and it can have some of a uh, little white sheen on it that you can kind of scratch off a little. But um, a really distinctive feature are the shoulders and it actually feels very ribby and shouldery right there where the joint is and where it splits. It always splits into threes. And um, it, you, you can see how quite big they get. I mean, this is three feet tall about, and that's very big. There's a lot around here, and um, I'm pretty certain the, um, the useful part of this plant is the root, and um, please don't rely on that. Um, that is just a guess from my memory. Okay, so I'm underneath the plant right now. And um, this is where all the action happens. It's a very big plant. These get very big. Right here, you can see the shoulders here. It's breaking into three separate sections, going off this way, and breaking again into another three separate sections. Very distinctive feature of the black cohosh plant. Um, and you can see it just, it's three, 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 um, all the way up, very purpley, and... Um, right only where the shoulders are and a little bit of that white sheen right on it where you can rub it off gently with your nail um, but that's it right here very distinctive feature so these are very good um, very good plants to know and we'll go ahead and showcase uh, right now blue cohosh as well they can get to similar height and similar uh, width actually Blue cohosh is actually um, somewhat blue sheen on the stem, and the leaves aren't as jagged as black cohosh. They're a little more smooth. They can look like mittens sometimes, uh, somewhat similar to sassafras, but not nearly the size of the sassafras leaf. Um, but um, those plants are very good to know, and we got a lot around here. This place is packed. I'm getting stung by stinging nettles. They're really stinging. And, um, but that's okay. You know, it goes right away. And um, so most important thing is we need to uh, get some meat. 
So we're going to go ahead and press on, press forward, climb up this hill, see what we got, take a minute, take a breath, sit down and relax and be patient. Um, we are actively hunting right now, but um, it's always wise to uh, pull the patient game, right? So let's go ahead and press forward. Okay, so we're up here. We're a little higher up. It's just something coming from over here. A good ways away though. We both heard that. Okay, I'm after this. Uh, there's noise. There's something walking around up here. And it sounds kind of heavy, but not heavy enough to be a deer. It's not breaking much stuff. It's not breaking anything really. We go There's a lot of stuff going on right now. We're gonna try. like a owl, but not an owl. Could have been a coyote. There it was again. Okay, there's something going on up here. Coyote. Ruko is up there right now. I don't know what happened. The coyotes must have took off. Ruko must have scared them off, chased them. He's a little bit bigger than most coyotes or, you know, a full-grown male adult coyote. Well-fed can be about the same size as Ruko, so you know, 70 pounds, 80 pounds. All that stuff. Um, those coyotes though, I wish I could be there. They're probably uh, not sure what thinking of uh, Ruko. Man, what a beautiful noise though, huh? We might have some luck with turkey. I've had coyote before, before, and it's actually pretty good. It tastes pretty similar to beef, uh, to cow, and um, very tasty, very tasty. But um, we're gonna head back east and um, follow the ridge, hop in the sun over there. It might be exposing some turkeys trying to. Uh, Messed up or possibly scare some grouse, so let's get going. Well, uh, now 
Not too much luck this evening. I'm getting tired. I've been out here for a while. You can spend so much energy. It'd be nice to sustain that with some good food. Well, I think that's a wrap, not too much luck. You know, that's one thing that I always like to expect is, you know, half the time, you're just not gonna get anything. It's a 50-50 chance. And you gotta be okay with that when you're hunting, when you're relying on animals for your food. <sighs> At least for meat. Um, but that's okay, you know. That's the whole part of life, is this learning experience. I mean, this sun up here on the canopy is stunning right now. Getting out underneath the forest floor, out in the open. Beautiful sunshine on these treetops. The canopy is just lit up. Birds are singing. Lots of activity around, but just not my luck. That's okay. You know, thanks for staying tuned, you guys. Really appreciate um, you guys hanging out and enjoying this episode. And um, I'll get some more out here very soon. I'm, I hunt all the time, so we'll be, I'll be recording all this stuff with Rook and I. Um, you know, and that's the, that's the whole deal. That's why I like to implement a lot of plant knowledge, because it's easy to spot. They don't run from you. Um, so, you know, it's great, you know, you'll always learn some plants, some fungi, some insects. The insects here are awesome. They're so cool. Birds here, same thing. Everything. Well, stay tuned next episode. Be hunting again. Smokey Earth Skills.